The main draw card, the main reason to make me want to paint is that painting enables you to create alternative environments. They're environments of sensation that as an artist you can live in, you can enter and for me they're extremely comforting. And as an artist being in that environment there's part of you that wants to bring other people into that environment. This chemistry of mark making is in many ways the vital core or essence of painting. For me it's an intuitive approach that is based on a pure chemical reaction process, a process of mark making where light is the end product. This is not a light as we know from our external environment, rather a light born out of the reaction that's happening on the canvas, an alchemy of luminosity. One might wonder, where does colour fit into this? Well, like marks and form, colour is another variant in a painting's assembly, but it's not critical to resolve a great work. The resolve of the painting is based on the language of its assembly, not the ingredients. And the ability of this language to deliver is my absolute focus. I can only liken this to music or poetry, where one becomes transformed by the manner of its language, not its story. For me, subject matter is of little significance, which makes abstraction difficult at times to engage with beyond a decorative viewpoint. Subject matter can form a vital bridge for the viewer to enter the work, but for me, the work needs to stand alone and to serve as a catalyst. In chemical terms, a catalyst is a surface that allows two compounds to react and form a product that might not happen in its absence. I believe in a successful painting, it allows parts of our psyche to come together on some level and initiate an internal process all of its own. When you make a mark on a piece of paper, when you lay a gesture down, the mark has to ignite the surface that you're working on. And that way, the surface throws the mark back at the viewer. So with this in mind, you need to engage your intention with the gesture before the brush hits the surface. The viewer needs to see this not as an attempt that fails or succeeds, rather a line full of life and free to wander and engage with its environment. The artist needs to realise that this is a process and they need to embrace that process for their work to develop. It's not actually about the finished product, the painting. And yet, for the viewer, the painting has the opportunity to invite the viewer into that world, into that world of sensation that's different to their normal environment. It's different because it enables the subconscious to let go. And when that happens, the viewer is able to think slightly differently. It, it doesn't take much, but when they leave the painting, they're able to embrace their environment in a different way. When an artist finishes a work, it's a bit like shedding a skin. The painting is the shedded skin. And what's important is the growing of the new skin, 
In other words, what can the artist take to the next painting from shedding the first painting?